Some of the biggest names in history have implemented the law of attraction through visualization, the power of thoughts, and exercising the feelings connected to the desired results. In this video, I'll show you five secret concepts that have empowered the journeys of people like Oprah Winfrey, Tony Robbins, Napoleon Hill, Steve Harvey, Denzel Washington, and many others. But the question is, can it work for you? And how? Do you have a deeply hidden belief that can awaken an entirely different chapter in your life? Watch this video to the end and commit to start putting these concepts into practice today. Just feed your inner desire and imagination by listening. The law of attraction is the belief that positive or negative thoughts bring positive or negative experiences into a person's life. Simple, right? Here's Denzel defining it. Either in a positive or negative way, you attract not just what you fear, but what you feel, what you are. What you consistently think is what you produce within your life. If all you see is hopelessness, your life will be a reflection of that. If all you see are opportunities, your life will be full of limitless possibilities. This is a known concept, but why don't most people believe and practice it? Or maybe they hear about it, practice for a little while, and give up shortly afterwards. So let's get started. Take a deep breath in through your nose, full of hope, hold, and slowly release. Allow your body to relax a little. Keep managing your physical state throughout this video and bring peace and relaxation to your body. It's all connected. Make a commitment to yourself. I commit to listening to these principles. I commit to applying the law of attraction in my life. We start by watching our thoughts. Lao Tzu said, watch your thoughts because they become your words. Watch your words because they become your actions. Watch your actions because they become your habits. Watch your habits because they become your character. And watch your character because it becomes your destiny. Watch your thoughts carefully and get rid of negative words and limiting beliefs. Clean up your inner life and your feelings. Get rid of resentments, fears, anger, and allow yourself to experience positive feelings, compassion, peace, empathy, love, Attract those good vibes into your life. It is an exercise. We need to practice. The physical state we're in, our posture even, what we focus on, what things mean to us, and what we do about them, determines our lives. Focus on what you want, not what you don't want. Walk as a person with confidence. Head up, shoulders back. Move your body and allow the blood to flow throughout, your energy to enhance, and ideas to flow. As far as the words and how the law of attraction work, even if I gave you a list of examples of negative words and said, let's eliminate these words, I'm still attracting them. I'm giving them my attention and focus. Even if I say, I don't want that. That's how a lot of us get lost with the law of attraction. See, our brains don't know the difference between reality and imagination. So whatever we pay attention to, our brain's reticular activating system translates that into being of importance and attracts more of it. Simply put, for example, if I want to lose weight, I don't say, I don't want to be overweight, I'm tired of feeling heavy, I want to lose weight. Do you see the words that keep coming up in these thoughts? What is the focus? Overweight. Weight. Instead, 
I changed my focus to being healthy and fit, to getting into the best shape of my life. How empowering, how inspirational. Let's do it. Visualization. Many of us remember Jim Carrey, famous actor, describing his experience with visualization and the law of attraction. When he was starting out as an actor and he was broke, he would drive around the rich neighborhood, always thinking to himself, one day, one of these mansions will be mine. He also wrote himself a check for $10 million and placed it in his wallet where it started to deteriorate. He gave himself a deadline and continued to work diligently on his craft. One day he got the call that he was going to be receiving from the movie Dumb and Dumber exactly $10 million. Amazing story, right? But do you believe it can happen for you? I'll share with you my personal experience. I remember watching The Secret movie many years ago, and it made a huge impact in my life. Something inside me believed the law of attraction and visualization, and I made my first vision board. At the time, I was completely broke, and my dream was to attend a Tony Robbins live event. The ticket was about $2,500, and I remember printing the flyer and placing it above my computer screen. For a few weeks, I looked at it every day while practicing the concepts I heard in The Secret. I believed and visualized being at the event. One day out of the blue, I received an unexpected check in the mail from an insurance for the exact $2,500. I couldn't believe it, but this happened in my life. I went to the event, he high-fived me, I walked on fire and everything. It was amazing to meet one of my heroes in person. His energy, it's outstanding. Another time the power of visualization worked in my life was when I got my car. For years, I had been driving an old car with over 180,000 miles. My credit was not good. I had no savings. And one day I get a call from a salesperson who offered to bring me a car for a test drive. I said, okay. And out of curiosity, I went to the dealership with him. I remember walking in, those amazing cars surrounding me, and honestly, feeling like I did not belong. I headed to the restroom, got on my knees and prayed, God, whatever your will is, I accept. And I am grateful either way. But if it may be your will, Please stay by my side. I feel alone and intimidated, but I believe you are here with me. I ended up buying that car, and later I realized I had a picture of the exact car, model, color, and interior in one of my older vision boards. Coincidence? Maybe. Maybe not. Mark 11 says, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Here are some other quotes. Oprah Winfrey, create the highest, grandest vision possible for your life because you become what you believe. I always believed in the power of what you say in your records. I always try to talk about the positive things because I've seen it happen. I know the strength of it. Be did it. A few secrets about visualization are take a few minutes to practice, practice consistently, cover your eyes, enter a relaxing state, practice deep breathing, allow your imagination to flow, imagine being and having what your heart desires, be careful not to get into wishful thinking, watch for thoughts like I wish I had this. Instead, think, I am so grateful now that I have achieved this. Feel it. Practice makes it perfect. Keep doing it. And also, keep it to yourself. The desire was created inside your heart. Sometimes, sharing with others 
may bring negative opinions into your perspective, into your dreams. Guard your mind and protect your hearts. Everything starts with a thought and our imagination. Corinthians, fix your eyes on what you cannot see and not on what you can see, because what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Hebrews, faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things that are not seen. So it's crucial to watch, manage, and curate, if you will, our thoughts when beginning this journey. It'll become easier. But here in the beginning, we make an effort to act as if we were already that person we highly wish to be. Have you ever heard the term fake it till you make it? Act as if? The law of attraction can be applied like that too. William James, famous psychology and philosopher said, the greatest discovery of my generation is that human beings can alter their lives by altering their attitudes of mind. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he, is a famous book that comes from the Bible verse in Proverbs 23. The book emphasizes the power of thoughts into shaping one's life. When becoming the person of your dreams, ask yourself, how does that person act? How do they speak? How do they carry themselves? How are they perceived? How is their smile? And what do they contribute to this world? For example, have you ever felt uncomfortable entering a room or a gathering of some sort? Usually when that happens, it's because we're stuck in self. We feel insecure. We think things like, what are they going to think of me? Am I going to mess this up? Maybe I don't look good enough, etc. These are limiting beliefs and a simple solution is to shift our focus. How would our future self act if we could add to other people's lives? Really, in a meaningful way, if we could add to their lives. We come into the same meeting, stop by someone, look into their eyes and say, hello, how are you doing today? We smile and listen attentively while they respond. We might just learn something. We practice reaching out and allow ourselves to feel the moment of connection with others. We make it a point in our lives to notice people with compassion and empathy as we reach out our hands. The world needs that. We get out of self and a miraculous chain of events begins. Give and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, runneth over, will be poured into your lap, but with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Another example, you're driving, there's a lot of traffic, you are late, someone cuts you off. The negative reaction comes automatically to our minds. We may shake our heads, yell, or even try to go after them. For us to have a positive reaction in situations like these, it requires practice. Our brains are trained for survival. To thrive in life, we must train our brains differently for excellence. We must practice. Catch the thought in action and change it. Maybe sing out loud, I hope they are safe and wish them many blessings today. Go forth. That person, yes, the one that cut you off, the one that you had to drive a little faster just to catch a glimpse of their face, really, that person is also full of insecurities and fears, just like us. They have a family who loves and needs them, and sending them positive thoughts instead create a ripple effect on your day and theirs, even when we can't see it. Steve Harvey has a great quote on that. You can't think negative and expect a positive life. The life that you want for yourself will be based on the energy that you put out into the universe. Like attracts like. You are a magnet. If you're a kind person, more people are kind to you. If you're negative, you're going to attract negativity. If you're positive, you're going to attract positive. 
If you see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. So the law of attraction is not a wishful thinking exercise. That's where many of us get confused. It is about changing our thought life to empowering unlimited positive possibilities and interpretations. It is about experiencing the positive feelings that come from being a person with a changed mindset. And it is about visualizing and feeling the results with the certainty and expectation that is undeniably coming to us. Psalm 27 says, In the middle of the trouble, David made a declaration of expectation and he later experienced what he anticipated. Matthew says, According to your faith, it shall be done to you. John Jones, UFC champion. I believe in the law of attraction and I believe that you can speak things into existence. I believe that when you know where you're going and what you want, the universe has a way of stepping in for you. Andrew Carnegie. I am no longer cursed by poverty because I took possession of my own mind and that mind has yielded me every material thing I want and much more than I need. But this power of mind is a universal one, available to the humblest person as it is to the greatest. Make the visualization of your life so strong that it drives you to commit yourself 100% to its development. Hold yourself accountable by imposing a specific timeline to accomplish your vision. This helps you to remain focused, which also reminds us we have to put action into this. Always remembering the law of attraction is not wishful thinking. We watch and curate our thought life until it becomes effortlessly empowering. We produce energy into our bodies with movement. We relax and visualize. We practice and act as if we manifest. A thought has so much more power than any strategy we may have tried. We're called to look higher, expect greater and become more. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you.